All right, so you're newer to the music scene. You're just going on your first year as a band. Um, and Igri might not know you that well, so can we get started by just going through and saying your name, what you do? I, I'm Zach Smith. I play bass and sing in Real Fake Doors. Um, I'm Mark Gorski. I play lead guitar. Hi, I'm Jesse um, Persian, and uh, I sing here in Real Fake Doors. Hi, I'm Chris. Uh, I play drums for Real, uh, Real Fake Doors. Uh, I'm Sean Stevenson. I play rhythm guitar. So my second question was, could you confirm that your name is a Rick and Morty reference? But then you've got the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, confirm. My, my uh, favorite show of all time is Rick and Morty. And um, when we, we came to naming it, uh, we were just sitting in a room. We literally locked ourselves in a room for like two hours. And we're like, we just got to pick a name. So we're sitting there and we're rambling stuff off. And that part of the episode came up. And at first it was Aunt Samias Johnson, and we decided not to go with that. <laughs> and uh, at, at some point, Real Fake Dorks came up. I'm not actually even sure which one of us brought it up, but it kind of stuck. Way. We don't really follow the Rick and Morty scene with it. It's just a cool name that we got from it. It's unique. People hear it and they're just like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and can you tell me about a little bit about how you got involved like with Real Fake Doors as a band? Like how you met one another and started making music together? Um, well, I I think it was the summer. This is a question for you. <laughs> you, you we basically. Yeah, the, uh, it was the summer, I want to say, of 2016, like fall. Um, I had known Chris for all of high school and we had been jamming and playing together uh since freshman year um but it was we were getting into college and then we know we wanted to like you know become a little bit more like and actually like you know play out instead of just like you know basement and garage shows so me and him put up a ad on facebook and a couple weeks went by and that's when jesse uh saw the post he messaged us and then we all the three of us got together um, and then we just started singing and playing and just hanging out. Um, then some time went by, we added a couple other guys and then, um, then they moved on with other things with their lives. And that's when we got Zach. Um, and then we eventually got Mark. And then since about April of last year was when we got Mark. Um, was when we started to, you know, kind of move away from the cover scene and we started to kind of, you know, want to focus on writing our own music, playing other shows besides just the local bar areas and we wanted to, you know, just kind of like, this is us. Um, and who has influenced you as a band musically and professionally when you are out doing publicity things and whatnot? It's probably all over the place for all of us. We yeah. all come from very different tastes of music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all, what taste all, all five of us have, are pretty much all over the spectrum with our taste of music. Uh, music. I, I can rap, country, punk music, heavy metal. Uh, I, I pretty much listen to it all. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of us yeah, <laughs> all, actually, all kind of feel yeah. the same, too. Um, <laughs> now, that's a tough one. Uh, it's uh, like when people ask, like, like, oh, who do you think you sound like? We don't, we don't have an answer. Really mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, we do sound like real fake doors. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I can say that, like, would influence us, like, with around the city, um, my dad and Jesse's dad have been playing around the area for a good long time. And they've both helped us, helped us as musicians as well as the whole band. Like, you know, they've gotten us shows when we first started out, given us tips and pointers and how to do that stuff. So those guys, they help like, you know, kind of paved the way, and they, to this day, they still support us 100% of the time. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, do you have any predictions, then, if, for where you'll be at this time next year? Uh, um, or where do you hope to be at this time next year? What do you want to be working on, then? Where do we hope to be? Um, Maybe on the road. Yeah, we'll we'll see. See. yeah. <laughs> probably on tour. That would be cool. Something like that. Definitely That's something I know we're all looking forward to here. In the oh, the say, yeah, there's a lot of some more uh, yeah, you can developed expect, intricate music. Yeah, coming. you can expect more music for sure. We are already, I mean, we're all already still writing stuff. Um, hoping to get in the studio again sometime and record some new music as well.